Hi and welcome back to Joe Talks Cars and welcome to another video. Behind me is a BMW iX50. It's a car that really interests me. Not the best looking thing I've ever seen, but the BMW i range is something that I really enjoy spending time with. So let's go and find out what the BMW iX is all about. So this being the iX50 means it's fairly powerful. It's not the most powerful one they do, but it's got 516 horsepower and 765 newton meters. Yes, this is electric and it's a bit ugly, but it doesn't make it any less interesting. And I do think the design may be, it's not attractive, but it's futuristic and it certainly stands out. And for once, it's not grey, white and black like every single car on the road. When you spend a little bit of time with these cars, they get under your skin because they're almost like a concept car that you can currently buy. The best part about these though is the interior. So let's jump on in and talk about what the i models of BMW are like when it comes to interior. So for me, BMWs are all about the interior. What they have been doing over the last few years is nothing short of a marvel. You've, you've presented with this wonderful, very clean, minimalistic dashboard. I've never been in anything quite like it. It's very modern, very up to date, and everything you touch just feels so high quality, feels expensive. It is expensive. This car is priced at 96,000 pounds, which is a lot of money. But when you consider the amount of tech you're getting in this, I think it's worth it. It more or less behaves like any other electric car. The difference being with this one is I think the screen is class leading. All the different air conditioning controls are easy to use. The screen just works so responsively. Just playing with this screen, I mean, there's a lot to go through and you would need a long time with this car to actually get used to it. But everything you wanna do is really quick, really responsive. You can zoom in and out on the map, like look at the speed of that. It is incredible. It's also super clear and sharp. Down in the center console, you've got the traditional BMW wheel, which can be used to zoom in and out of your navigation and do all manner of controls. So you're not just relying on the touch screen. I really like that because so often in cars that I've been driving, you're prattling around with the screen a lot and you're struggling to actually drive and use that. In a world where you're not allowed to use your mobile phone, touch screens don't seem all that appropriate. So having this, the ability to use this wheel and an enter button does make it a lot more usable. The volume control is a physical button as well, and that makes it easier. There's so many cars you get in and you're trying to work out how to mute it, how to turn the volume down. All these things that you don't need, they're all distracting. And I think BMW have got a really nice blend of physical buttons, but also touchscreen, and everything just works together perfectly. 516 horsepower and 765 newton meters of torque is a lot of power and torque. Yeah, the car weighs 2.6 ton, but it's still a lot of power. And the first thing you notice is it's so quiet in here. So electric cars, of course, are quiet because they're electric. The soundproofing they've put in here is just unbelievable. You can hear nothing, you can hear nothing from the outside. But all I'm interested in when it comes to cars and electric cars in particular is the way that they move, the power. 516 horsepower, we're doing 30 miles an hour in a 60 mile an hour limit. Wow. It's quick, super quick, and it makes that really weird futuristic noise. I don't really know how I feel about that. Car manufacturers seem to be trying to fit these sort of things to cars to make them more interesting. I'm not really sure what that adds, but it's, it's funny. But yeah, in terms of the ride quality and the comfort in here, well, 
it's just unbelievable. I've never been in a car that's ridden across the road quite like this one. The level of comfort in here is next level. The seats are super comfortable, like sat on a sofa, and you feel no bumps in the road at all. The roads in England are notoriously terrible, and this car just irons everything out. The noise is so funny. It just reminds me of like Halo or something, like some of the vehicles in Halo. That's so funny. <laughs> this is how they're making electric cars interesting. It's how they're doing it. So the top speed of this car is 125 miles an hour and I'm surprised it's as low as that because it doesn't take long to get to the motorway or the national speed limit at all. This thing is so fast. For a car of this weight it's hard to believe it can move down the road quite like this. But the throttle response is instantaneous. Instantaneous. The force of it pushing you into your seat is something that everyone has to experience at some point when it comes to electric cars. They genuinely blow my mind. But yeah, the thing, the overwhelming thing in this car is its comfort. The comfort levels and the serenity when driving it makes you feel so calm. It doesn't really encourage you to put your foot down, although when you do, it's very dramatic, but it sort of gets rid of any noise from the outside world. You just sat in your own perfect little cocoon. And I think the design, although yes, a lot of people are going to say in the comments, it's not the best looking car. It's not that great, I'm not going to lie. And the colour maybe isn't right for the car, but it's better than it being grey and boring. And at least they've gone down this futuristic look. They have given it something different, and I think it needs to be that way. I'm going to see if there's any more driving modes. There's some modes, so we're going to have a little play with them because it's impersonal at the moment. There's sport, efficient, expressive, and relax. Ooh, should we try sport first? The screen has gone all kind of like dark and mysterious for sport, and it has made the throttle response a little bit more keen, or it appears to have, but now everything's kind of gone. There's no icons on the screen, it's just dynamic setting for pure driving pleasure. So it's got rid of all the distractions basically and turned it into a sporty looking thing. What are the modes we got? So we've got personal, oh, what's expressive? We'll try expressive. Right, that's gone all bright and colorful. I like that. Impressive visualization for vibrant lighting events. They use some big words and now it's making even more weirder noises. What on earth is it doing now? So I've put it in expressive and now it's making... Wow! <laughs> I like that. That's really funny. I was like, I, do, you know, do you know what? It sounded like my brakes were binding on or something. It sounded like a weird metallic noise. When you accelerate, I do feel like I'm in some sort of sci-fi film. This is so bizarre. It does sound like a bagpiper that's gone a bit wrong. Oh, it... I mean, can you hear this from the outside? What are people gonna think? No, I can just hear school children. And also, when I put the window down then, you could hear nothing before I put it down. It's noisy out there. I mean, I'm not sure what it's adding. I don't know why they've done this, but it is interesting. And it, I suppose you've got to do something quirky with electric cars to give them a personality. And this car's personality is noisy. There is also an option for relax. So I think that probably will be better, a bit quieter. It just says relax driving in a pleasant atmosphere. So like, so right now. Oh, it's a bit like a spa now. It sounds like a bit like a spa. But yeah, there are so many toys in this car, so much tech, and the sounds, they're a little bit odd, granted. But, I mean, I'm, I like the fact that BMW are thinking outside the box, adding something different. I mean, 
I tell you what, it does make you feel like you're moving quicker than you are. When it comes to handling, it's a little bit wallowy in the bends. When you put the car in sport mode, it does make it a little bit better. But at the end of the day, this isn't what this car's all about. This is an electric car with a very, very impressive range. 262 miles are left on this car. It's only filled up to 80%. So that's pretty good. This is going to go well over 300 miles and I don't doubt it for a second. But what I do enjoy about this car is just the way it makes you feel. It makes you feel very calm. It's very quiet, very smooth and just really easy to jump in and just drive. The cameras are covering the outside of the car. You'll have seen them just above the BMW badges and they give you a great view on the screen. When it comes to reversing and things, it makes it really simple to maneuver. And it's just a joy to use. I think BMW are onto some really good things with their electric cars. They're bringing something new to the market, something we've not seen before, and that's just injecting a little bit of fun and class into electric cars. I've had a brilliant day driving the iX and it really doesn't disappoint me. I've driven the i7 and it totally blew my mind. I wouldn't say this has blown my mind because that was my first experience with one of the BMW i cars. What it has done is reaffirm why I like them so much and they are just absolutely incredible. They're an incredible piece of kit and it does mean that electric cars are probably not as boring as everyone makes them out to be and there's a lot of um, fun to be had from them really. But yeah, it's a wonderful car, it really is. So, the BMW iX50, what do I think to it? And would I recommend that you bought one? Well, I've had an amazing time with the iX50. It's not something that maybe looks great on your driveway and not everyone is gonna like the looks, but from a technological point of view, it is honestly next level. Electric cars don't need to be boring and this is proof of that. Yes, they probably should work on the design, maybe paint it a different color. Other than that, I'm a huge fan. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for plenty more videos like this one to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.